Welcome back, Jake Simons here once again, and today we're doing a video on strategizing. So we spent the first practice and a lot of our second practice just understanding the rules, diving into the game manual, diving into the student-friendly appendix, going to the field and actually demonstrating scoring examples so the kids have a great understanding of the rules. It's important that they understand them, not us as the coaches, not the parents in the stands, but the kids, because they're the ones advocating for themselves at a tournament. They're the ones that have to have a full understanding of how the game works in order to proceed with anything. And so what we do after we understand is we come up with strategies. We want to score as many possible points as we can. It is a competition after all, and we want to do the best that we can. And so what strategies, what do we want to accomplish in any given match to score as many points as possible? So what we did is we partnered the girls up, had them sketch out, and draw out different routes on a field diagram and then explain their thinking and writing. Those strategy papers, of course, will then be pasted into our engineering notebook. Check it out. Okay, Esme, talk about the strategy that you guys came up with. Actually, just you. Were you by yourself on this one? Yeah, so I'm gonna have you talk about the strategy that you came up with here. I was, well, so first we want to clear all four switches. We will get the ball from the loading station and pass to our partner. I think it will be faster to have one robot do the passing and one robot do the goals. And why do you want to, I noticed that you said you want to clear all four switches. Why do you want to clear all four switches? Because then passes cost more points. Yeah, they're worth more points. In fact, if you clear all four, how much is each pass worth? Um, so if you clear one you, and you pass, you get four points. If you clear two and you pass, you get eight points. If you do, if you clear three and you pass, then you get ten points. And if you get all four and you pass, then you get twelve. Points. So we obviously want to go for trying to clear all four. But let me ask you this question, Esme. What's going to be the hardest part about clearing all four? That the high ones might be hard to get. If you just keep getting the low ones, it's not going to really help you win. Yeah. All right, Nora and Katie, we talked about strategies. What is your guys' strategy? What did you come up with in the teamwork match? We came up with clearing all four switches. That way when we pass and we score goals, it's it's worth more points. Okay. And what might be the hardest part about clearing those four switches? Anyone have any any thoughts or ideas about why that might be difficult? Because if you like shoot it, it might be harder to get it in the top ones and then if it goes too hard it could go over and like out of the field because yeah. um it's higher than the other ones yep the top ones are higher so those might be a little bit more difficult um what's the best way to pass how are you guys planning on passing like we talked about like launching it and having the other robot catch it but i don't know if that's the best way what what really can you do when it comes to passing um you can like so if one robot like comes over here and gets one of the balls it can like turn around and like drive a little bit and then when it passes it um the other robot instead of like catching it it can like just let it hit the ground and then touch it and it will still be um, count still as a pass, a pass yeah. um and one one robot can come over here to see if the ball um comes over here and another one can come over here and if like um it comes on this side that one can like come over here then that one can pass and they can shoot yeah because how many balls can you have on the field at two. once two so you could really be passing two balls at once and scoring two okay. balls at once which is pretty cool first one beatrice hi you guys give me a big smile nice talking about strategies here what is your guys' strategy what did you guys come up with so the first robot passes to the second robot. The second robot shoots, tries to make a, a goal. Robot one gets the ball and passes to the other 
robot and makes a goal in the different switch. Okay, so what might be the hardest thing? What might be the biggest obstacle in accomplishing this strategy? What do you think, Beatrice? Probably, we did, I think, a lot of passes might be a little bit too much bad because you want to still make a goal. Okay. So, when it comes to passing, how do you guys plan to pass? Like, are you going to launch it and hope that your partner catches it in their robot? No. We just want to, like, kind of bump it. Kind of bump it and touch it because it's, it's technically a pass mm -hmm. if you touch it and then they touch it. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I think that's probably the easiest and probably even the most efficient. It's It would honestly be hard to launch it and have them catch it, right? I think that'd be cool, but I think that'd be the hardest thing. And you guys plan on clearing the switches? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. The more switches you clear, the more points your team gets. Team gets based on what? Passing? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice job.